In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect to a Raspberry Pi Zero W without needing a mini HDMI adapter. And all you need is a USB cable connected to a PC. Stick around, cause you know what time it is. So before we get started with this hack, there's a couple of things that you'll need. The first thing is obviously a Raspberry Pi Zero W. The second thing is an image of an operating system that is capable of working with a Raspberry Pi Zero W. And in this case, I'm using the latest version of Raspbian Lite. And thirdly, we'll need this image written to the micro SD card before we can go any further. So with your micro SD card and your computer with Raspbian Lite written to the micro SD card, what we need to do firstly is open up the config.txt file. Now, if you're on Windows, make sure you don't open this with Notepad as this can destroy the formatting. Instead, use a program like Notepad++, which I've included a link for down in the description below. So once you have that file open, what you need to do is you need to go down to the very bottom of the file and you need to type in DT overlay equals DWC2. We'll put an extra line in there just to be safe and we'll save that and then we'll exit Notepad. The next file we need to open is cmdline.txt. Now it's very important that you don't destroy the formatting in here again, so make sure you open it with Notepad++. Now what we need to find here is a section after root weight. So what we'll do is we'll put a space in there and then we'll paste in the code. Now the code I've included down in the description below, it is very important that this is typed in correctly or pasted like I'm doing right now. Once that's done, save the file and close it down. And the last thing that we'll have to do is create a new file just a text file, but instead of giving it the .txt extension, we're just going to remove that all and call it SSH. Accept the warning. And now what you've got is you've got a file there that will tell the Raspbian operating system to allow you to use SSH out of the box. Previously, this was enabled by default, but in the last six to 12 months, this has been disabled. So this is how we enable it without having to log into the actual Pi itself. Now that's all done, what we'll need to do is we'll need to eject the micro SD card and we'll throw it into the Raspberry Pi. Now before we power on the Raspberry Pi Zero W, we need to make sure that we're using the correct micro USB port. Now the very first one on the left is for power only, but the one on the right can be used for power and data. So that's the one that we're gonna use here. Make sure your micro SD card is in your Raspberry Pi Zero W and that you're using the correct micro USB port. Now, if you've done everything correctly, then you should see in your network adapters folder, the Raspberry Pi show up. Now, it will take a little while for it to boot the first time, but eventually it will come up with unidentified network. This is when you know that it's time for you to be able to putty in to your Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now, the link for putty is down in the description below. If you're on a Mac or Linux, you can simply use SSH from the command line or terminal. So once you're in either the terminal or putty, you need to type in pi at raspberrypi.local, then we'll hit enter. Now, if you're on a PC, a Windows PC in particular, and you don't have Bonjour installed, then this is the message that will come up. So if you do get this error message, quickly install Bonjour now. I've provided the link to that down in the description below. So now that I've got Bonjour installed, I'll start that up again. And look at that, we're into the SSH command module of the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Awesome. So now that we've connected through SSH, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you how to enable Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi Zero W so you can connect to it from any computer in the house. Let's jump back to the computer. So to enable Wi-Fi, what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit a configuration file. And to do that, we'll type in sudo nano slash etc slash wpa underscore supplicant slash wpa underscore supplicant dot conf. Press enter and this will load up the text editor. Now press your arrow keys down to the very bottom and we're gonna type in network equals curly brackets open. Press enter here and then press tab. Now SSID equals quotation marks, your network name. So this is your SSID that shows up whenever you connect to it through your devices. Close quotation marks, press enter, press tab again and we'll type in PSK equals quotation marks, your Wi-Fi password, close quotation marks, enter, close curly brackets. Now we'll press control X, Y and enter. This will save the file so we can connect to the Wi-Fi network. So to connect to it now, what we'll do is we'll type in sudo WPA underscore CLI reconfigure. 
and press enter. This will take that information that we just put into that file and allow us to connect to the wireless LAN. And now to see if it is connected, what we'll do is we'll type in ifconfig wlan0 and press enter. And here we can see it's connected to the Wi-Fi successfully. Awesome! So after that tutorial, you should now have your Raspberry Pi Zero W connected through SSH on your computer. Awesome! So did you get this working with your Raspberry Pi Zero W or did you have any problems? Then leave me a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, then make sure you do because I release two new videos every week. And if you are a subscriber, then make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified of my new great videos. Make sure you share this video with other Raspberry Pi Zero W owners so they know how to do this too. And as always, imagine, learn, create.